All right, what's going on, people? I'm out here with the B-Body. Showing y'all that it's not... It's a whole... So many ways to do things, man. And first off, before I even go too deep, shout out Amir. Amir, you the man, big homie. Because you the, you the wire man. You've been in this B-Body game for a minute. I mean, not for a while, but you've been... You, you do your thing. So with these LED lights, I did not go and spend a whole ass load of money on superbrightleds.com. Now, I'm not going to lie. They stuff is on a bean. It's thorough. But I went on eBay and got the wires. Well, not wires. Got the bulbs. And this one, I'm just playing with them right now. This one right here, this is just straight from... Um, these are the reverse lights. But I put it up front just to make sure that they did work. And when they cut on, it, it definitely did catch me off guard. I was not expecting how bright it was. I wish that it wasn't so bright that you can't see it through the camera, but it's definitely thorough. Now, what's going up here is all I did was just swap out from the red I had up front, just trying something different to be low key, but doing your thing. Now, this one actually pop up. You can actually see how it is on camera. And I'm, I'm feeling those, especially when you actually hit the signal to get brighter, thorough. And the back with the rears. Now I had these tail lights since I, I got the car and I've never seen every bulb lit up. So that goes to show even these small marker lights, they make a big difference. And for those that don't know, these one and two, these is your actual regular brake lights that have your normal size bulbs. This one here in the middle and this one here on the side, these are small, marker lights the same bulbs that you would literally use in your dash in your interior same bulb and with these the only problem i'm running into and, I, and the way they light up this is way brighter than stock and this is before i hit the brick now with um the problem i'm having with these is uh just like any other problem anybody have is you can't use your signals now the only thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to do it for the time being is i'm actually gonna have to use it by hand which is drawing but even with that um, it's only gonna be for a few days because the the relay that I brought off eBay The problem I'm running into with that is it's supposed to work and actually flash With it and that's this one Right up here up top this black one Now the original one that was in there was this one and the whole reason why people run into problems with these LEDs is because these relays right here is designed to pick up a certain amount of resistance in your car so that's why when people start replacing led bulbs and just think it's going to work and it don't work that's the problem but these leds they use so much less energy they way more efficient than just your conventional bulb it's almost like using fluorescent bulbs in your house and the energy saving bulbs they don't use that much electricity because they don't use that much electricity and just a fraction of what your car normally uses your car thinks that a bulb is out so because it thinks the bulb is out just like any other time when your bulb is out, it's not going to flash. It's not going to work. So you can either do number one, which is get a resistor, which all you got to do is you're going to have to test light each wire from here. And you're going to have to find out which wire is it that gives off the power when the light actually gets brighter. Because one of these light, one of these lines is not going to have power going to it until you hit the signal. And every time it flash, that wire is going to be giving power to the bulb. Once it gives the power to the bulb and you find out which one it is that's giving you the flash, you put a resistor on that line. It's just snipping the wire, putting it on one end, the resistor, the wire come out the other side of the resistor, goes onto the harness. Well, the wire coming from the car. And then once you do that, they'll work. But you have to do that with every single bulb. So that's, that's kind of draw. So that's why I went the route of trying to get the relay. So now I'm actually gonna have to, instead of getting the relay off of eBay and playing hit or miss and using my hand all the time, I'm just gonna go on the actual website, Super Bright LED, call them up, figure out which one it is that they guarantee me will work and go that route. But it went long enough. There was just a update on anybody that's using LEDs, not just for B bodies, but just LEDs in general, because it took me a few people to talk to, to get this information. So it's all in one. Anybody who's interested in switching over, regardless what year, make, model, what type of car, don't matter. But that's just the key things to remember when you're trying to do the LED swap. And it looks a lot cleaner. Adds a retro kind of new look to the older cars. But all right, y'all. Peace.